Hi, welcome to my channel Commerce Specialist where you'll find content covering various academic qualification and professional certification including life-changing business ideas and hacks. You must have heard man proposes, God disposes. What does this mean? This means that yes, we do plan but our plans do not always go the way we want. There are uncertainties. So in today's video, we are going to discuss the uncertainties relating to investment appraisal. I've already made a video on investment appraisal capital budgeting. If you have not seen it, please watch that video first so that you understand the importance of this video. In this video, we're going to talk about sensitivity analysis relating to NPV, the net present value. So before we begin with the calculations, you need to understand what is sensitivity analysis. So sensitivity analysis measures the response of project NPV in relation to the variables used to calculate it. Let me tell you this topic is very very important especially if you are calculating NPV of a project and then there are uncertainties related to market conditions and economic situations. So let me tell you sensitivity analysis is very important when we link this to investment appraisal. As I already told you that I have already made a video on capital budgeting and investment appraisal. There I have discussed all the different uh, tools of investment appraisal like payback method, average rate of return, NPV, IRR, so on and so forth. But here we are talking about once NPV is calculated, how do we incorporate risk? How do we incorporate uncertainties? And then comes the interpretation part. So let's jump into the calculation now. Here I've given you a question. Uh, it says uh, year 012, initial investment in thousand. All figures are in thousands. I've eliminated three zeros. So initial investment is 7 million in year zero means right now. Variable cost in year one and two is 2 million each. Cash flows in year one and two is 6.5 million. And the last column is net cash flow. Obviously from 6.5 million or 6,500, when you minus 2,000, you'll get nets 4,500. Same here, 6,500 minus 2,000, you get 4,500. So this is the data which is given to us. We also have some additional data here that the company has sold 650,000 units at the rate of 10. That's how we got cash flows of 6.5 million in year one and two. And the cost of capital is also given to us, which is 8%. What we need to do is, we need to measure sensitivity of the project. Now sensitivity relates to what if analysis. So before we go on to sensitivity analysis, let's look at the prerequisites. First of all, we need to calculate NPV of the project. I've copy pasted year 012 because our Cost of capital is 8%. So this is PVIF stands for present value interest factor at 8%. Always for year zero, it's always one. Year one, this is the present value interest factor. This is the present value interest factor. Now, those of you all who are thinking how I got this, it's very simple. You can find this value in the present value table or you can calculate them manually. For example, if you are interested to know how I got 0.926, is basically if I want present value interest factor at 8%, what I do is I just divide by 1, divide by 1.08 to the power 1. Now this 1.0 is basically, this is 1 divided by 1 plus R to the power N. N is the number of periods, R is the rate of interest. So rate of interest is 8%. So 1 plus 8%, it's like this, 1 plus 0 0.08 to the power N, because this is the first year. So when you divide 1 by this, it looks like this. 1 divided by 1.08.8 will obviously give you 0 0.926. If you're interested to know how I got this, it is basically 1 divided by 1 plus r to the power n. And in this case, we are talking about year 2. So this is 1 divided by 1 plus rate of interest is 0 0.08 to the power 2. So this will be 1 divided by 1.08 power 2 and when you solve this you get 0 0.857. The same thing I've already explained in my previous video on capital budgeting and investment appraisal. 
in a lot of detail so i highly recommend you watch that video as well so now let's get back to our discussion so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take the present value of the details i have here let's say 7000 is your initial investment initial investment is always in bracket that means the money is going out you are investing in the project so 7000 multiplied by 1 will give you 7000 2000 multiplied by 0.926 will give you 1852 and obviously it's in bracket then again 2000 by 0.857 will give you 1714 likewise cash flows both are the same amount so 6500 multiplied by 0.926 will give you 6019 it's in positive because this is cash flow is in positive again 6500 by the year 2 present value 6500 into 0.857 will give you 5571 this 7000 remains the same when we talk about net cash flow this is present value of net cash flow so 6019 minus 1852 will give you present value of net cash flow 4167 and 5571 minus 1714 will give you 3857 now what we're going to do is we're going to add these two so if i add these two 3857 plus 4167 that gives me 8024 and this is 7000 so this total is 8024 so 8024 is positive and this is negative so in the end i get 1024 as positive and this is my net present value and let me tell you this is positive so ladies and gentlemen, before we go on doing sensitivity analysis, it is important that we calculate the project NPV and it is coming as 1024, which is positive NPV. Please remember whenever we have positive NPV, that means the project can be accepted. The basic idea calculating NPV is we look at the NPV. If it is positive, the project should be accepted. The project is feasible. If NPV comes negative, we reject the project because it's not feasible for us. So now let's pick the project variable one by one and see how sensitive the NPV is towards changes in these variables. So guys, now let's pick the project variable one by one to see sensitivity of NPV towards them. So the very first one I would like to choose is the initial investment. Initial investment. The formula for sensitivity analysis is basically project NPV divide by present value of the project variable. Which means we have already calculated uh, NPV here 1024 that comes in the numerator divide by present value of project NPV because we are talking about invest initial investment the present value of initial investment is 7000 here so just divided by 7000 multiply by 100 so it comes to 14.6% so guys what does this 14.6% tells us? It tells us although we have a positive NPV of 1024, but if the initial investment, which is 7000, if it increases by 14.6%, the project will no more be viable and feasible for us. Sometimes it does happen that we are, when we are starting the project, initially the initial investment seems like 7,000 or 7 million in this case. But by the time we start the project, because of inflation, this and that, there are so many other contributing factors, the initial investment is not 7 million, it's higher than that. So even if the initial investment increases by how much it increases so that the project is still feasible and viable for us 14.6 if the initial investment increases more than 14.6 percent the project will no more be feasible for us i hope you understand this the next thing we look at uh, relating to sensitivity is the sales volume 
let's have a look at this now again in the numerator you will have this NPV which is 1024 so I'm putting this 1024 divide by we have to look at the present value of cash flows relating to sales which is 11,590 minus the present value of variable costs which is 3566 so this will give us 12.8% so what does this 12.8% tells us this 12.8% tells us if the sales volume reduces by 12.8% the project will no longer be feasible for us now when I'm saying project uh, sales and volumes going down by 12.8 percent I'm talking about probably you're selling less units here you're selling 650,000 units if the sale drops by 12.8 percent or more the project will no longer be feasible for us so let's pick another uh, project variable and let's see how sensitive that variable is to NPV so I'd like to take now the variable cost again the sensitivity formula is that you have to take NPV in the numerator which is 1024 and you need to have present value of project variable if you look at the present value of variable cost this is the project variable present value of uh, variable this is 3566 into 100 this gives us 28.7 percent you can check for accuracy now what does this mean this 28.7 percent means at the moment your variable costs are 2000 if your variable cost increases by 28.7 percent or more the project will not be feasible for us in other words if we calculate the NPV again with the variable cost being 28.7 or higher the NPV will come to negative Finally, I would like to see what is the effect of cost of capital because it's one of the important variable. What's its effect if it changes, how it's going to impact the NPV and the project acceptability. So let's check cost of capital. When we are talking about cost of capital, one thing you need to understand for looking at the effect of cost of capital on project NPV, first we need to calculate IRR. And I've already explained that in, in my previous video on capital budgeting that when you need to calculate IRR, the very first thing is to calculate NPV. So that we have already calculated here, if you could see. The second step is to see, is it positive or negative? So we can see that NPV is positive. In order to calculate IRR through a formula, we need to have a positive NPV, we need to have a negative NPV because we have a positive NPV now what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the discount rate the cost of capital so same calculation I'm going to do now but with a different discount rate so we need to have year here 0 1 and 2 so after year we can have cash flows here cash flows means in year 1 we have a 7,000 uh, investment in year one and two I can net them off 6500 minus two so I can take the cash flows as 4500 and 4500 here I am taking present value interest factor it is 8% here if you notice the cost of capital was 8% on 8% there is a positive NPV I am going to increase the rate uh, let's take it as 20% okay and then we have discounted cash flow or net cash flow whatever you call it Please remember as a rule of thumb, year zero, the discount factor would be one, irrespective of what rate we have. Now for year one and two, we can calculate. You can refer to the present value table or you can do on the calculator. I prefer doing it on the calculator. For year one, it will be 0 0.833. And then this will be 0 0.694. So 7,000 into one will give you 7,000. 4500 into 0.833 will give you 3748.5 again 4500 into 0.694 will give you 3123 now what you're going to do is you're going to add these two and minus 7000 
so 3123 3748.5 that gives me 6871 6871 minus 7000 will give me a negative net present value of 128.5 this is my NPV now ladies and gentlemen please understand as I told you we are calculating IRR using a formula one way is trial and error but that's too lengthy we don't have the time for that generally we calculate IRR using a formula for formula the prerequisite is that we need to have a positive NPV we need to have a negative NPV minus means negative NPV now once we have positive and negative NPV we can use the formula let's have a look at the formula IRR is equal to A plus A upon A minus B into B minus A. This capital A and capital B are the lower and higher rates, which means A is the lower rate. Lower rate is 8%. So I'm writing here 8. Plus small a is positive NPV, which is 1024. Small a is positive NPV, 1024. Minus B is the negative NPV, small b which is 128 forget 0.5 okay b is the higher rate higher rate is 20 percent so 20 capital a is the lower rate lower rate was eight percent it becomes to 18.66 so guys we have calculated irr which is 18.66 but what does this mean this mean at the moment you are getting NPV positive project is very much viable for us but this positive NPV is when your cost of capital was 8% cost of capital is for example in order to invest this 7 million you have taken a bank loan and you got to pay interest so that could be your cost of capital 8% so at 8% the project is very much viable but IRR of 18.6 means by any chance if your cost of capital or discount rate or bank rate of interest from 8% if it increases to 18.6 which is basically an increase of 132% obviously from 8 to 18 it's basically 132% so what does it imply it means that if your cost of capital goes above 18.6% the project will no more be viable so we all know that we are living in an era where there is a lot of uncertainties okay there is a lot of risk future is unpredictable so what we have done we have done our homework we have not only calculated NPV but we are also looking at the sensitivity part of it the risk part of it the uncertainty part of it let's say this 7000 is the initial investment this initial investment could be buying a new machine what if the new machine becomes expensive so will the project will still be feasible for us how would we know so we have calculated that here see look at this 14.6 as long as the cost of the investment initial investment of the machine does not increases more than this the project is still feasible if it goes beyond 14.6 percent if it increases more than 14.6 percent the project is not feasible for us what about sales volume sales volume we were selling 650,000 units if the sales volume drops by more than 12.8 percent the project is no more feasible for us what about variable cost if the variable cost increases more than 28.7 percent the project is not feasible for us what about cost of capital if the cost of capital increases more than 132 percent in other words cost of capital at the moment is eight percent if it goes above 18.6 percent the project is no more feasible for us so guys i hope you have understood this topic if you have any question relating to sensitivity and project npv please leave a comment i will reply to you as usual if you're not yet subscribed to my channel i request you to subscribe to my channel press the bell notification button that's the minimum you can do to show that you really value my work if you like this video please share it with your dear and near ones so that others can also benefit thank you so very much for your precious time